In this short Excel video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly swap the values of two different cells. Let's take a look. Here I have a list of contacts, and if you look closely, you'll see that some of my data in columns D and E is incorrect. Salem should be here in the city column, and this address should be in the business address column. We have similar problems down here below. So of course I could copy paste the data or I could create a column between D and E and temporarily move some of the data into that middle column and then rearrange the data where it needs to go and then I could delete that extra column. But those options seem complicated and a little annoying. There's got to be a better way and there is. All I would need to do to swap this data is choose one or the other cells, it doesn't matter which, hold the shift key on the keyboard, and then put your mouse at the very edge of the cell. It doesn't matter really which edge, somewhere on one of these four lines that creates the box around the cell. I'm going to put the mouse here, and you can see that the mouse pointer turns in to a four-sided arrow, and from there I'm going to click and hold the click and then drag to where I want to swap this data. Now if you look closely, there's some insertion points that are appearing, and this is the one I want to select. This will move Salem to where 494 Columbia Avenue is, and vice versa. So I'll release the mouse button, and my spreadsheet scrolled to the right, so that might have been a little confusing, but take a look at the results. Now Salem is where it needs to be, and the address is where it needs to be. With this next example, let's try the other direction. So I select the cell, hold shift. This time I'm going to use the top line of this cell. With the shift key held, I'm going to click and drag and drop the cell here. You can see the insertion point there to the left, and I'll release the mouse button, and the data is swapped. Now for this next example, I want to point out that there are other destinations for this data. If I don't go all the way to the left, but rather part way, you can see the insertion point is above. And if I go a little bit lower, the insertion point is below. Let's try that one. I'll release the mouse button, and now the selected data that I had here moved to here. Now that's not at all what I wanted, so I'm going to hold Control and tap Z to put it back where it was. But I wanted you to see that it is possible to move it to the wrong place if you're not careful. And notice that it didn't actually do the swap. So I'm going to undo that, Control Z. So let's try swapping the contents of this cell with the contents of this cell. I'll click here, hold the Shift key, click and drag all the way to here. My insertion point shows up there to the left. I release the mouse button, and it worked. But notice what happened. The address moved here, yes, but the company name shifted to the right, and Lagrange moved to the right. So everything shifted to the right in this case. So in this video, I've shown you how to quickly and easily swap data from one cell to the next. It works best when the two cells are right next to each other, but even if they're not, it's possible, but it becomes more of a cell shift than a swap. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel.